Hello and welcome back to Bold TV. Let's talk about something many young people don't think about, estate planning. Here to break this down is Sherry Williams Franklin. Hello, Sherry. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Beautiful, all right, let's get right to it. What is estate planning? So essentially, it really is all about just putting a plan in place for your finances and how you want all of your assets to be distributed if something were to happen to you. That's really it. It's just putting a plan in place. Just putting a plan in place. Now, why, why, uh, why would uh, young people think about this now? Or perhaps a better question is, why should they be thinking about this for themselves? Well, let me just say this. So in 2015, my 36-year-old sister passed away suddenly and finalizing her life became my responsibility. And so at the end of the day, if something were to happen to you, someone needs to know about all of your assets, all of the things that you've acquired throughout life and how to put your affairs in order. That's why it's important for young people. Even of all ages, because naturally it's something people start thinking about when they become parents or grandparents and, and whatnot. But for young people also, you mentioned the, the, the situation there. So is, is it, you, you recommend people start, when should people start thinking about this in, in, in your estimation? People should start doing some form of estate planning when they have assets. And, and young people often are confused on what are assets. So if you have a single bank account, a vehicle, a landlord, you already have assets that someone is going to need to manage after death. So you want to start to think about, you know, putting beneficiaries on your account, things like that, because those are assets. Mm -hmm. And and how, Jim, uh, to the next question, how does your platform make estate planning easier, especially for younger people who may not have thought about this before? Yeah, so um, lifesnapshot.com is essentially a digital storage vault. Mm. And what our platform does is consolidate information for young people and for all people um, for that matter. But the way that it works is our technology helps families organize and securely store personal assets, final wishes information, so that their loved ones can easily access it, whether they're in the hospital or have reached end of life. So we take your information and consolidate it into a custom snapshot report, which is encrypted and safely stored online. So what are the things that we consolidate? We consolidate your banking information, uh, properties that you might own, vehicles that you might have, as well as business interests. If you're a business owner, you've got incorporation documents, you have a succession plan, you need to store all of that information somewhere. Our platform is the place to house it. We also then store any relevant estate planning files. So let's assume you have a medical advance directive in place, a will, a medical uh, power of attorney. You can store that in our platform as well. So that's how our platform helps from a storage perspective. And then the second part of what we do is provide a little bit of a tech as well as you know human elements. So we fuse our customer support team to help with well-being checks. So in the event something were to happen to you, whether it's you've become hospitalized, you have now reached end of life, our support team makes sure that that information is passed along to your designated contacts. So the days of going to someone's home and looking for information, those days are long gone. We want to make sure that we're sharing that with your loved ones um, right away, immediately. Um, and so that's what, we do, what we're doing. And there's no frantic searching, no more missing information, no lingering questions. Um, and we do it for as little as $14.99 a month. We wanted it to be affordable, you know, just as much as a, two cups of coffee and a lemon loaf from Starbucks. Is this, the obvious question is, is this binding legally in terms of a will? Because that's typically how people convey after death how they want their assets to be distributed. Does this tie into a will? Does it supplement a will? How, how, how does that work? Is it legally binding is what I'm trying to, I'm trying to ascertain here. Yeah. Yeah, so our platform is not meant to replace estate planning. Mm -hmm. What our platform, what we know to be true is that 56% of Americans haven't done any form of estate planning, which is what has contributed to the roughly $40 billion in unclaimed money and properties being held by the U.S. government, wow. with life insurance policies alone representing $7.4 billion that goes unclaimed. So what we're trying to do is create an environment for people to house all of this information 
information so that it can be communicated after the fact. We want to house your will if you ever decide to put a will in place. If you never, which a lot of Americans don't, sit down with an estate planning attorney and put a formal will in place. We still want to make sure that your information is safely stored and available to your loved ones to provide that continuity after the fact. So we're not we're not meant to replace a will. You're going to want to sit down with an attorney um, and have that drafted if you want to do that, mm -hmm. because that is what, you know, communicates your, how you want your assets distributed. But there are people that do not do that. So what we've recommended to them is make sure you have all of your designated beneficiaries listed on your accounts. Mm -hmm. Those are the actions that are gonna eliminate probate. They're gonna eliminate probate. This is powerful stuff. Thank you so much for being here, Sharon. I appreciate the insights. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. You got it. And thank you all for watching. Make sure to follow Bold TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Have a great day.